Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mindy's Best. You guys, I'm so excited to be hanging out with you today. You guys, we have something kind of different that I don't really know that I've done on this channel before, but something that has been asked for a lot. You guys know that it's summertime. We have all had our houses just trashed by our kids because if most of you are like us, our kids have been home for months and months and months. And while that's been amazing, and I've loved, I have truly have loved every minute that I've had with my kids, there's a few spaces in my house that are a little uncorked and that we probably could use some work on so I have one closet upstairs in particular that is just like stuff has been thrown in so I'm going to give you guys some tips today on organizing and how I organize my closets specifically this one upstairs that just houses all the random extra stuff that you have in your house that just goes into that one closet that nobody sees but when you need something you can't find it you just need to be able to walk to the closet and get what you need so I'm gonna show you guys my closet I'm gonna tell you everything I'm going to do to organize it and it's gonna look so pretty when it's done all right you guys so in my house upstairs this is right as you walk up the stairs from my house I have a really long hallway we have Hazel's room we have the boys room the very end we have Ryler's room but before that I have a little linen closet right here it's really small so I've had to be really smart with my space and do what I can with it because it is that small all right you guys are you ready looks like a bomb went off it didn't I promise it's just busy life but why can't we just keep things organized it's like you take what you need put it back right when you're done with it but for some reason that just doesn't happen and then if you involve kids, <laughs> it might get a little bit worse. All right, you guys, so this is my closet and there is just so much stuff thrown everywhere. Like here, instead of putting the toothpaste back, we just simply just threw it on top of all the other stuff that was there. Now it has smashed everything. Same with this deodorant. Like we've just thrown stuff everywhere. So you guys, let's get this looking in tip top shape. Okay, so there's a few things I wanna tell you that I do that are a good way to start. So number one, I mean, I feel like I'm starting with good bones because I have a lot of organizers already in there. Some of you might not even be starting with organizers, but I feel like I have good bones. We just need to get back to that. So what I would do, start with some really good organizers. So you never know exactly what sizes and things you're gonna need. So what I did when I did this last time, forever ago, I went to Home Goods, or you can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, Dollar Trees, and even has a lot of really good options. Buy a bunch of organizers, bring them home, and then use what you use and return the rest. So that's how I would start. But that's what you're gonna do before you even start the project. Now to actually start the project, I am going to take every single thing out of this closet. So with organizing, you're always gonna make a bigger mess before you clean it up. So bear with me, it's gonna get ugly, but I promise it will be so nice in the end. Okay, I've got most of the stuff taken out and you guys, as you can tell, like I said, this is gonna get real messy. And because things are thrown in so many different bins, I'm gonna take this one step further and take everything out of its current bin because it's all just a mess. So we're gonna make another big mess. Okay, first things first, we already established, empty the closet, check. <laughs> I have got a very big mess on my hands, but it will be worth it in the end. All right, so next thing, wipe down the shelves. I've gotten a rag and you just wanna wipe everything down. You want it to start as clean as it possibly can. Okay, now let's talk bins. There are so many different bins you can get this one's already filled. These are the ones I got. I got these from Home Goods, and you guys, they were they were pretty inexpensive. I know it can add up quick, so there's a lot of places you can get them, but I got these from Home Goods. I personally liked the clear ones. Actually, if you want to know, some of these are refrigerator storage bins. I think specifically these ones, and I liked them because they were long and skinny. But these ones also were pretty comparable. I was actually really pleased with how much they were. Um, but you can go to Container Store, Walmart, Target, any of those places. Um, even Amazon has some good ones. So I have all different sizes here. I have these little ones. I have bigger ones, but I specifically wanted clear so I knew what I had inside of that. But it can look a little bit messy, so some people prefer to go with like a white or a basket or something different. But this is what I like. Okay, so take inventory of everything you have. After looking at everything, I have a lot of deodorant. 
I don't know why. Apparently we really use deodorant at this house. A lot of deodorant, I have a lot of like toothbrush, toothpaste, crust white strips, those kind of things. And then second to that, I'd say, you know, we've got the sun care definitely dialed in. But also I like, this is where I store all my extras. So like I have this big giant thing of Q-tips. This is where I store all the extras. You can store it under your bathroom sink, but I prefer to store it all in a closet so I know if I ever need anything, this is where I'm gonna go. So that has really helped me a lot. So right now I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna start with like the mouth section of your the closet, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, those kind of things. All right, my mom has given these to us. She gave us these for Easter. We haven't used them yet. Uh, you guys, I like to use Crest White Strips probably once a year is all we use them. Uh, so she found this for us, but because this package is so huge, I'm gonna take it out of its package and put it in this bin and that will save up so much space. All right, so last time we went to Costco, I got the big, big pack of toothpaste. So again, this is gonna be kind of hard to store. I mean, I guess I could slide it in there, but I'm probably gonna open it up. I feel like stuff stores so much easier if you open it up. All right, you guys, this looks so messy, but it's all gonna get cleaned up. But my toothbrush, toothpaste bin is totally dialed in. I did leave these in the package because I didn't want these to get dirty. So I left those in, added a few more that we have, and now I'm just going to put it on a shelf. We're gonna go right here. And look how nice that looks, like everything, is in its bin, it has its own spot. So I feel really good about this. Will be the things that I just have a lot of. I'm just gonna go through the things I have a lot of. I know that I have a lot of, like I said, deodorant, sunscreen, those kind of things. I also store a lot of Bath and Body Works type of items because you just never know if you're gonna need a gift or something. I have gone to my closet and used just a little lotion, wrapped it up in a cello bag and gave it for a gift so many times. So it pays to have these things on hand. I also have random things like this that I've gotten that I've never used keeping that for a gift, random stuff. We've got bug spray, we've got all the things in here. So let's just put all the like things together and put it in and you guys, it's gonna look so much better. Okay, you guys, one thing that's really important when you're doing this, go through your stuff. If you have stuff that you don't need or you have no idea why you've got it, this is the time to go through it, get rid of it. If you haven't used it in a year, I always say it's safe to get rid of it. There's things that I have in here that I'm like, when did I buy that? I don't even know. So this is a great time to go through things, declutter, de-junk, throw the stuff away that's just total garbage and save the stuff that you know you're actually gonna use. I am a super huge fan of leaving things in your house House that you know are actually going to be consumed by you instead of having spaces that are just junk collectors. So go through it now. Okay, you guys, this is a perfect bin to show you of things I'm going through and getting rid of. Number one, I don't even know what this is. It's like a little bag that I probably thought would be cute for a gift later on, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This was actually very interesting. My boys must have gotten these taken away and I hid them up here and forgot I hid them because just recently my boy said, remember how you lost our iPads and you didn't know where they were? You guys, I haven't been able to find these in a very long time. So look, I found two iPads that I must have hidden really, really well. So I'm going to keep those. We found some Mickey ears. But you guys, this is one thing that I have. It's a cute little clock that helps kids know when to wake up. I don't need this any longer. So we are going to get rid of that. That saves us some space. I have this really long extension cord, which is great, but why is it up here? So I'm going to take this out of the linen closet where I could use the space and put it in the garage where it belongs. Again, here's trash, we're gonna get rid of that. But I have a sound machine in here. I do keep sound machines because we tend to use these when we travel, so I'm gonna keep this guy and put all of the other random little things that I can't find space for in here. Like I have this, and then I also have a diffuser that I'm going to put in here. So there's space for everything.
Okay, so I feel like I've dialed in most of what we have. I put in the few things that I had in here. And you guys, just by simply going through things, I created so much space. There are things in there that I'm like, why do I have this? Why is it taking up space in my house? Simple things. Well, you guys, like, my kids broke their arm. Crew broke his collarbone. You can tell this one's very weathered. This is what he wore every day. And while that's sentimental and cool, I just don't need a worn arm sling in my thing. And also I have a second one that we didn't need either. I also have these um, ice packs that we got from the hospital when we needed them. But you know, if I was in a situation that I needed them again, I'm sure we'd be taken to the hospital and they'd give us new ones. So I just went through a couple things, went through and saw what I did and didn't need. I feel like I pretty well went through everything, really organized it to be with other things that are like it. So now I'm gonna know right where to go. The only thing I probably could do that would be awesome, but the thing is, is things change for me. So you can get like a fun little label that says like oral hygiene or like body hygiene, whatever you wanna do but for me, I feel like it's constantly changing. And so you can, I guess, just rub it off and write the new label, but I feel like we've got it pretty dialed in and I feel good about it. guys, I kind of want to show you this in a little bit more depth. So this is obviously our oral hygiene. I did stick these in front. I think that we forgot we had these. That can be the problem. When you buy in bulk, you forget that you have certain things. So you guys, it's very important to check your linen closets, your cold storage, whatever it is before you go do a big shopping trip. If you're like, oh, I can't remember if I have razors. Come check. Then you're, look, you just saved money because not only are you using the ones that you have, but you're taking the space out of this linen closet. So whenever it's done, you can refill it. In here I did, I have a bunch of spray deodorant, regular deodorant. I put some shampoo that we had, body wash, and then men's deodorant. And then over here, you guys, this is just a skinny little guy and it fit perfectly next to these two big ones. So I stuck this skinny little guy. This is all of our travel size stuff. You know, we'll use these, like the shampoo back here is pretty empty, but once we use it, well then we'll toss it and then we've got more space available to us. This is all of like my Beth Body Works gift type of things. I bought a lot of these one time when they were on sale and it says I wish. So this is a perfect gift for a birthday. Anyways, just tons of little gifty ideas. I like to buy the sets where you have, you know, the spray and the lotion or the body wash and the lotion. So those are always great go-to gifts. I've got those there. This kind of ended up being all the random stuff. I've got Q-tips and I've got our travel toothpaste and stuff that I couldn't fit up in this one. But these are the kids ones and I keep them separated with their shampoo and their toothpaste and toothbrush. So I keep those together. Over here I have their hair gel and Kleenexes, cotton, keep those together. And coming down here on this beautiful shelf, but look you guys, I have extra space now. This one's all kind of first aid. I just kept everything that was first aid together, band-aids, ace wraps, you know, pads, all that kind of stuff. I even threw in some of our hand sanitizer we have left over up here. There's a couple of those in here. The back one is sun care and mosquito. Uh, bug repellent, so we've got that. I even try to keep these random things, you guys. You're probably not gonna know what this is. When my husband broke his leg, he was like bedridden for a really long time, and he had to have like a little wet bath or sponge bath, that's what they call them, a little sponge bath. And this is what they use. You just get them wet, creates soap, and that's how he would have a bath. And I thought, gosh, if we were ever camping or ever in a situation that we needed them, I kept them because I had two extras. Sometimes you just never know when these kind of things are gonna come in handy but only keep it if you actually think you're gonna use it. And then down here, this is some travel stuff we have. These are just like extra cases if I needed a makeup bag or a container or a bag to put my shampoo and conditioner in. I love to take these. And this one is our Disney bucket. So this has our magic bands that we had. It has our ears, it has our lanyards, it has everything that we could need for Disney. So that's all in there. And you guys, right here, we have a bunch of like tools. So screws, a hammer, all those things. In fact, I found a ruler. I'm gonna stick that ruler in there because you always need to measure stuff. All of the stuff I put on the very top shelf, which is stuff I can't really reach anyways, is stuff that I don't need all the time. There are also little teeny tiny things that I've gotten from gifts and stuff that I can use. So I put those up high and all of the electrical stuff up there, like the diffuser, I have a heating pad, just random things like that. Okay, so now that everything is organized in this closet, oh man, I feel like I can tackle the world. And I know some of you, your kids might not be going back to school. Some of them might. However you feel like you can get a grip on life, having organized spaces for me is 
really like it makes my head very clear I feel like it can function a lot better so for me this is like heaven I know for me I've got a lot of projects I want to work on my to-do list is getting very very big next one I want to tackle is the kitchen and you guys actually today I have been delivered a bunch of things to organize my kitchen so I plan on showing you how I want to organize my kitchen and the things I'm gonna do to make the spaces work better whatever your list of to-dos looks like make sure you just cross one off at a time you can't tackle the whole list or else you're gonna make yourself insane so you guys as always here on Mindy's best I always tell you to do your best because you can't give more than you've got so do your best your best is enough and start crossing things off the list but remember just do one at a time that whole list doesn't need to be completed by the end of the day by the end of the week or the end of the month so give it your all you guys I love you so so much I'm so grateful for all of you being here with me all the positive kind comments that you say make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure most of all that you come back next week you guys have an awesome day make the best of it and I'll see you next week <laughs>